chesslang.com is a completely white label solutions for chess academies which means that you can run online tournaments and group classes with integrated audio and video from your own chess academy website that's right so you're not going to log into chesslang.com by your own chess academy website let's take an example of panamachesspackets.com here they have something called chess training reina and clicking on this will take you to training.panamachesspackets.com and what you see is the chessline platform everything that you see in the screen is customizable you can add your own logo images you can change text and customize it uh, like your own platform let's take a look at how to create tournaments and run tournaments using chessline you can run two popular formats swiss and quad using chessline so let's go and create a tournament and probably take a look at one of the existing tournaments so give it a name tournament name you can choose the date of the tournament it could span across multiple days or a single day uh, choose your time choose your time zone um, you, you can choose your rated system if it's uscf quake um, if it's a swiss or a quad and the number of rounds that you want to conduct and uh, what type of um, game type it is uh, book opening like everyone plays a particular opening and the custom fan is uh, you can set up a random middle game position I'll just choose standard uh, and then move on to the next and you can um, you can see the schedule being generated you can go and edit the schedule and you can choose the participants either you can select in groups or you can select the pick the students individually so I'm just gonna create the tournament uh, Let's take a look at uh, one of the Swiss tournaments and the quad tournament. Uh, in the Swiss tournament, you can see that uh, the players are automatically sorted based on their seating order. In the quad tournament, they are automatically based on the seating order and also uh, divided into sections of four each. And uh, in the padding section, you can see that um, you have round one, two, three, and the players are automatically padded against each other. And in the quad, similarly, uh, the paddings are automatic and uh, it is within the section and it's round robin uh, with three rounds. And the ranking tab shows uh, at the end of each round what their uh, standings are and uh, three types of tiebreakers. So similarly for uh, Swiss tournament, you can see the tiebreakers uh, and the points something called uh, live games where you can see every single game live during the tournament and you can also share this link with parents that can watch the tournament without logging into the platform see on the board is a real and live interaction with your student um, so you can make moves on the board join the call with your students for an interactive video experience uh, you can control who can make moves on the board on the student side and there are multiple students in session and you have a reference board. This board is just for you, for your reference, and the students won't see it. And you have all of the features like drawing arrows, the squares in different colors that you want. Um, and you have features like uh, font structures, or if you want to set up a board, you can set up a board position. Or uh, if you want to teach absolute beginners, we have uh, toggle illegal where you can uh, just make moves on the board um, and the students would just see it doesn't follow the rules of chess you can even take the knight and keep it here this is a game area that lets your students to play against each other any point of time so all they have to do is just invite the other player who is online and choose what color they want to play choose the time control and choose uh, the time increment uh, uh, the other player gets the invite immediately accepts it and then they start playing so on my left hand side i'm playing white and uh, on my right hand side i'm playing black uh, the moves are synchronized immediately uh, and uh, all the games are saved automatically in the database for analysis. Uh, the next feature on table is assignment that lets you create assignments to your student after the classes. So you can do this in two ways by uploading your own pigeon files and creating exercises out of it or leverage the database that we provide inside the platform and create exercises. So all you have to do is after creating the exercise is click on the assign button and select a student or probably a group. So uh, in this case, I'm going to search for a group called beginners. This can have 30, 50 or even 1000 students that you can instantly assign the assignments to. So on the student sides, all they have to do is click on the solve button and start solving the problems. So I'm going to play knight in the d6. Oops, I have a better move. So uh, I think it's knight hit 6 checkmate. So it uh, instantly moves on to the next problem for the student to solve. Queen hits 3 
uh, and it solves the problems. And for the code side, uh, we have an instant reporting system where you not only get the right moves of the students, but also the wrong attempts played by the students. This feature is called practice, that lets your student to practice certain key positions over and over again against the computer engine. For example, king and queen checkmate. If your student is a beginner, he can go ahead and practice certain checkmates over and over again with the computer engine here. So once they've mastered it, they can also practice the custom positions that you set for the students. For example, let's say uh, Lucena position and uh, you can uh, either set up the board position or copy the pen notation here to load the position and the student can practice this position over and over again database so this feature lets you create your own databases or probably upload the pgn finds and maintain your own database online and you can do more with the database for example anytime you want you can download this database or if you want to share with your student or coach in this case the student want to share the database with the coach. So all you have to do is click on a share button and then select the coach and click on the share button and that's it. So you have two sections here, database and shared with me. So uh, if you go to the shared with me section, the databases that the coach shared with the student or the student shared with the coach is seen in this section. So you can click the games anytime and uh, edit the games. Um, and if you want to annotate, you can annotate the games and then click on update.